We have connected our Canon camera via USB to the computer and will enable Live View. I will position my object in front of the camera, as you will see my hand placing my object. Next, in the camera settings window, I will adjust my shutter speed, aperture, white balance, and ISO. All these changes, as made, are reflected in real time in the Live View window. That is, the exposure simulation is projected in real time in the Live View window. You will also see Canon gives us the ability to view our Live View in a large window. This is typically 1024 by 768 pixels for most cameras in their DSLR line. Last, as you will see when we capture an image, it is exactly as it was shown on the Live View, hence the exposure simulation built in. Next, when looking at the Nikon Live View, the first thing you will notice is the smaller window size. Nikon camera's live view is streamed at 640 by 426 pixels. As you will see when I start to make changes to my shutter speed and aperture, the live view remains consistent, not adapting to any exposure changes. Although, as you will see when changing our white balance and exposure values, these will change the live view exposure, however, will not accurately depict the exact exposure of the image if it were to be captured. Let's go ahead and capture an image to see the result. A slightly more overexposed image than what we had seen in our live view. We will simply want to go back, adjust our camera settings, then recapture the image. After we have found the correct camera settings for our lighting, they will be retained inside the program and can even be saved as a camera settings profile.